Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So, I've been asked, I, oh gosh, I haven't been on for a while, but um, I've been asked about backgrounds and using things at home. Those are my uh, popular videos of what can we use at home. So, something I've been doing and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do like, I don't want to say a series because I don't know how many I can do, but we're going to do some backgrounds. And today's video and today's product, product, project, prog, whatever, uh, is going to be the bags that you get with onions. Um, and you guys know the bags. You guys know if you've been watching me that I use these a lot. This is just your bag that goes over your onion. Now, this is a double together. I didn't pull it apart. You can kind of see. I don't know. You can't even see. It is a. Uh, it's, there you go. See how it's two parts? Like I could cut it and have two pieces. You can do that. I just left it as one. And I have some tape. It could be washi tape is fantastic. This is just the tape I had sitting here. And this is, the, the, I do this all the time. So I have my painter's tape and I'm just taping it around to make a ledge, an edge, a ledge. You call it what you want. Okay. And what I do, you can see it's a little, I don't know, squishy, how you say, <laughs> wrinkled. So you can heat it with your heat gun or your hair dryer very, very lightly, very cool, like warm to cool um, to kind of, you know, stretch it out. But I just, because it is stretchy on its own, I like to take my tape. And I'm only leaving that much. You can leave as much as you want right? You can see it's on the paper there. And I like to use this tape because it's, uh, I can move it. So if I'm like, oh, I don't like it, I can move it. And I'm going to move it this way so I can turn it this way so I can kind of stretch that out a bit. Like that. Leave it like that. See how it's flatter now? And then I'll take another piece. Lay it on top, lay it on top. There we go. Right like that. And it's okay if you don't have it right on. You know what I mean? You could just fold it off, cut it, whatever you want. Now you could see why washi tape would be great. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I've bought a lot of washi tape over the years. Washi tape was the big thing. Well, guess what? Kelly doesn't really like washi tape. I like it, but you know what I don't like about it is it doesn't stick well for me. And I have to put glue down or Mod Podge and it turns into much more than I want to do. So there we go. And you can see it's a little sticky here. So I'll just fold that up, push it down the corners where I put some it's a little sticky here. And of course you could take your scissors, but the nice thing with using washi tape or, um, painter's tape is like I said, you can change it. Do you know what I mean? Like, Oh, I want it bigger. You could take it off. And the more we use it, the better the stencil will become. All right. So you can see, and I can sit and fudge with it, but I'm not going to. So what I'm going to do is set that there. Okay. I'm going to take some paint. Now I'm going to take some, this is called, port, do I want to do portrait light or do I want to do, I want you to kind of see it, but I want it to be a background. Let's do some yellow ochre because I'm going to shake it. I'm going to put it right here. This is my palette that I've been using. I turned it over and I'm just putting a little bit of the paint there. Now you can do this in many different ways. You can use a stencil brush. You can use a scruffy brush, which is like a brush that you've already kind of you know, sprayed or there is a brush called scruffy. You can use a makeup sponge, which I don't have here. You can use a regular brush. You can use your fingers. I don't care. Let's try our scruffy first. So I'm just going to go in and I'm not going to take a ton because we want to see and I'll lay it down. And I'll do this corner. more. 
always start with less because like you can even dab off because you don't you don't need as much as you think you do sometimes i like to like take it across kind of run it across when i lift it up you see how you get that background let me zoom you in just a little bit So you're getting this great background. Now you can see here I rubbed it and it kind of fuzzed it out a little bit. I'm okay with that. I don't care. Um, gosh, I wish I had a makeup brush. I don't. So let's use our stencil brush. I'm just going to put a little bit. I'm going to tap it off a little bit on here and I'm going to show you. As I bang it, and I'm only going to go over it once. Now you see with the bigger brushes, you definitely, and a makeup brush, you'll go over a lot of space. I'm banging away. It's a bangers and match. And you see how you get that background? And I want it faded like this. I don't want it so, because um, I want to work on top of it. So I don't want it so dark. Now, let's say, Let's say, let's say what color, let's do orange. Let's just for the heck of it. Then do a little bit just, and you can see, you only need like little bits. I'm going to kind of squish this around like this. And what the tape does is it just gives you more control and you could use duct tape, right? Like duct tape stronger and more has a little bit more structure. You can put, um, I'll show you something you can do one second. I get so excited when I do these things because let's see, can you see that? Yes, you can. Oh, my brush is losing its hair. See, see how you get that great background. So get off their hair. So when you're doing an ATC card, an art journal page, a, um, you know, uh, whatever, a canvas even, you can do this and you can make this as big as you want. And you, you get this really great look. Now I'm going to take, I only have thin ones right now, a popsicle stick. So if I took a popsicle stick, this is if you want to get very um, technical, right? If you're like, you know, I really want to spend time making do it like this, peeling it back. You could take your popsicle stick or skewer or whatever, and you can lay it here and then lay this on top. And you could probably, I probably have to add another piece, but do you see what happens? Now it has more structure. So when you lay it down, it has a little bit more weight. So it's not lifting as much. So there's so many things you can do. Can you spray from through this? Of course you can. And if I had my spray here, let me find the spray. Let's see what we got. Da -da 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 -da. Come on, I know I have some of the reason around here somewhere. Jesus. Okay, let's see what we get. This is perfect. Pearls, turquoise. What I also like to do, now this is a lighter color, obviously, but I also like to take another piece of paper or something to lay on top, which you can, you can't really see that. I don't know if you can look at that. See how cool. And now we're starting this nice little background on there. And then we lift it up and look, well, you can't see nothing. So turn this this way for now. Let me draw it for you. Shall I? You'll see it as a drive. It's sparkly. Probably wasn't the best, best choice to do, but I did it. And I'll pick it up and show you. I might spray it a little too much, but I think you'll get the idea. Let's see if you can even see it. See? going to run a little bit. Look at that little drip. Oh, I love a good drip. And that's mica. So it's, you know, but you can see, you can definitely spray through it, make your own sprays. 
Make your own springs. And now we have, you know. Let's see if I can get some of the mica off on here. And I'll go over this and make a background. You know, this is like a beginning of a background for me. So, regardless, I could sit here and play all day, as you guys know. But this is a great way to use your onion wrapper. It's like your onion net um, into part of your mixed media tools. And like I said, you can, you know, you can use this and make it go, um, as you know, straight and narrow as you want. And if you use a thicker one, of course, it's going to be thicker and it is, it gives it much more structure, which maybe later I'll do that. Um, but yeah, but what a great way just to sit and play with your, with your garbage. Let's recycle, reuse, and, uh, have fun. So I hope that you like this. Let me know down below. Uh, I have a big list of things that you guys uh, want to see. So of the using things from home and recycling and all that. So I'll be doing that. Just these little videos. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. If you like my videos and you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below and click that notification bell so you can get notified when I upload. I'm going to try to get back on my schedule. We shall see. And I love you guys. And thanks for all your emails, all your Facebook messages, all your Instagram messages, all your Twitter messages, all your messages. I love you guys. And I am so appreciative. And that's all I got today. See you later. Bye-bye.